I'm Jack and we're following on from the last video where we uh, used this image and showed you how to cut out certain parts of it ready for a stencil. So what I've got ready now is the papers on the board. This is my first stencil. I've mixed up some paint. I'm using Wicked Flesh Tone. Okay, so that's the first colour that I'm going to be using mixed obviously with the 4012 reducer and the 4030 balancing clay. I'm also using the Badger Renegade Chrome. Start off first by blocking in this kind of fleshy colour, the orangey colour, into the whole picture and then we're going to add from there. So because I've already got this set up, this image is the thing that I'm going to be kind of following. I'm going to put that up there. Like I said to you before, I actually would normally have a, a piece of paper at the side of me that I can test the airbrush on and that seems to be okay. This is when I start to put on some colour. We can see on the this side of the face is lighter than this side. We start off by putting the colour down this one side So that is our basic fill-in of colour before we start to add uh, the dark. Okay, so that'll do us for the first bit. What I'm going to do now is take that piece off, put this piece on. And all I'm going to do is make sure that we've got this lined up. These handy magnets for uh, holding the stencil down. And then I'm just going to add one drop of black. Check it on the um, paper, this is our test paper, so we're getting a, a nicer colour there now. And we're going to start with the eyes and the nose. And then in these pieces here, where we have the bone at the back um, and then we have that white gap that I filled. So what I'm going to do first is just lay down a little bit of colour and then I said I'm going to shade that inside there. So once we've got that the same on both sides, same consistency of colour, I can then go over the whole thing. Now the nose I'm going to go back to again and back over to these eyes. Now before we go any further, cut down this edge. Just add in a little bit of texture to this eye socket. So now we've got the two eyes in, the nose and the jawline and the cheekbones. We'll take this off and we'll move on to the next piece. So again, I'm just going to hold this up, make sure we're uh, in a similar place. in place then. I'm 
and all we've done up to now is use the skin tone, uh, the additives and a little bit of wicked black thing and start to see starting to take shape. Now, what I said to you before, we can use these stencils to give us the nose and the mouth and everything else. And now we're going to start just coming in and adding a little bit of our own artist's license. To get this texture on the bone, I'm actually doing this kind of figure of eight. very lightly over this area. So you can start to see this thing is coming along. I am going to put in here a fairly harsh line with my thumb. see that now and I'll blend that out 